Hey guys, this is Darko. Today I'll share with you recommended picture settings and show you picture menus for Samsung's 2022 QLED and Neo QLED TV line. I'll be demonstrating all this on 50 inch QN90B, which is in front of us. And I'll show you which picture presets are the best to use and go inside the menus to give you basic tips. So let's get started. Let's start with tip number one, which is make sure your TV is working in home mode. To do that, I'll press home button on the remote, go left to menu, then settings, and here all settings. Next, I'll go to general and privacy, then system manager, and here you see usage mode. Make sure it is set to home mode, and if you want to change it, you will need to know pin, which you set during initial installation. Next tip is use the most accurate picture mode. And here situation is very simple. I'll again press home button, go to menu settings. So for everything except gaming, use either movie or filmmaker mode. TV will come in standard picture mode but this one is far from accurate and that's why use movie or filmmaker mode. In case of gaming for lowest input lag, if we go to the right, you will have game mode option. Let's press OK and now TV will switch to game mode and show you this special menu with gaming related features. Now if I go back to settings menu again, and I'll disable game mode. So let's come back to movie picture mode. Here we have picture setup. So right from this menu, you can access certain controls. And these are brightness, contrast, sharpness, color, and tint. These are just basic controls. If you want to access all of them, then you need to go to all settings. And here you see Menu that shows which picture mode is active, picture size, settings, picture in picture and expert settings. And this brings us to the next tip, which is adjust brightness and disable or tweak ambient light sensor. So what do I mean by that? If we go to expert settings, you have brightness control. This is how bright LEDs behind the screen work. And you are free to adjust this value to the value you like. So if you want brighter picture increase, if you want dimmer picture decrease. But TV also has ambient light sensor activated by default, which means in darker environment it will dim the picture, regardless of how you have this setting adjusted. To disable light sensor or to tweak it, let's go to general and privacy, power and energy saving, and here you have control called brightness optimization. So this is enabled, this is disabled, and when you enable it, you can set minimum brightness to the level you want. We also have brightness reduction here that will decrease brightness even further. But I prefer to disable these controls and just manually control brightness with this value. In addition to that, if you find picture too dim, there is also gamma control. For SDR signals, you will have BT.1886 and 2.2 values, and for HDR, those values which are currently grayed out. And by selecting BT.1886, you can tweak it again till you get satisfactory result. Next tip is make sure color tone is set to warm too. So if you go to expert settings, color tone should be warm too. For both movies and for gaming, this is the most accurate white point that content producers use when they are creating content. So to get proper color temperature that you see it as directors intend you to see, set it to warm too. 
If you have calibration equipment, then you can benefit from white balance controls, two point for dark and bright region and 20 point settings for fine tune white balance at different levels. Next option, if your TV has local dimming, meaning it can dim certain regions of the picture, then you will have this control, local dimming, with three different flavors, standard, low and high. My recommendation is standard value, which will turn off completely areas without anything on the screen for the best contrast. But standard value also introduces global dimming, meaning that in darker scenes, overall brightness will be decreased. So if you want to avoid that, if you want more consistent result, but not as good contrast like on standard, then use low value. Next, let's talk about motion resolution and soap opera effect. For that, you need to enter picture clarity settings. I have it set to custom, so I can manually tweak blur reduction and the judder reduction. Blur reduction is only available if your TV has 120 or 144 Hz screen. I recommend to put it to max value for the best motion resolution. And then if you want soap opera effect, you have judder reduction. And you can also tweak it to the level you want. But for me, I like to watch movies without soap opera effect. I set it to zero. LED clear motion will activate black frame insertion to further increase motion resolution, but this will dim the screen and can introduce flickering on certain types of signal. So I keep it disabled. And noise reduction, my recommendation is to turn it off, but if you have some old footage or noise is distracting for your watching, then set it to auto, it's very efficient. Related to colors, you have color control, which I measured at 25, it's close to the targets. Tint, which rotates entire color range, also at zero was okay. And then we have color space option. Here, I recommend to set it to auto. And then you also have custom option if you want to do calibration. So for primary and secondary colors, you can adjust red, green and blue component. Smart calibration is new option available this year, which allows you to use smartphone from Samsung or from Apple to calibrate colors of your TV. If you have Samsung phone, Galaxy S, Note, Z Flip or Z Fold released after January 2019, or an iPhone that supports Face ID, you can try this process. And let me know in the comment section, how did it work for you? I don't have compatible phones, so I did old school calibration with proper equipment, but I would like to know how did it work if you tried it. And guys, with this, we've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. There are no major changes in picture settings available on 2022 model, as you can see. RGB mode is no longer present, but anyway, I doubt anyone was using it. Now we have smart calibration with your smartphone, which is interesting approach, which I will definitely follow. And yes, as you can see, with small adjustments, you can get really nicely balanced image from your Samsung TV and enjoy content in a really good way. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in my new video. Goodbye.